total jobs. Hmm. Fight over your right to information in a high-profile murder case is happening right now in Jacksonville. This time it involves what information you're allowed to see and when. Action News' Kristen Sell explains how this fight all leads back to the trial of a man accused of killing a local teenager. At my favorite amendment isn't the Second Amendment, it's the Sixth Amendment. This is right to a trial by jury. The law also says every person has the right to a fair trial. That has been called into question in the case of Michael Dunn. He's accused of killing teenager Jordan Davis in a gas station parking lot over loud music. It happened last November and has since sparked national attention. Where all of a sudden everybody starts to offer their opinions or their, their, their take on what this meant or what was said and what the ramifications are of that and how that might play out. And it just spins and spins and spins out of control. Jordan's family wants justice, but the public wants more details. The judge made a ruling that the court can decide which pieces of evidence, like jail letters and witness statements, will be made public. He's now reconsidering his ruling after members of the media filed a motion to allow all evidence to be public record. What we're worried about, even though Duval County is very big, is some of them already having preconceived ideas based upon Dunn's own words or, or anybody's own words uh, such that they can't be a fair juror in this trial. In a rare instance, both the prosecution and defense are on the same page. And we have a right to represent the people of the state of Florida and get a fair trial for us, and this defendant certainly has a right to a fair trial. And we believe those constitutional rights outweigh any interest of the media or the public. Michael Dunn's trial is expected to begin February 3rd.